Filicide is the deliberate act of a parent killing their own child, which is a serious violation of the rights of children. Today on One spoke to Ingrid Hesselman, the children's advocate at the office of the Ombudsman, who described the circumstances that often cause parents to commit such gruesome acts. Many times parents kill their children because the, the child is not of the right sex, according to them, or... Um, the child is disabled and a burden. The other example you mentioned, um, um, that filicide happened definitely because um, there was abuse going on. And in terms of the Child Care and Protection Act, um, children have the right to basic conditions of living. That means that the, the child has the right to food, to shelter, to clothing, to an education, to protection and care. And what I think happened in the case of the child that was, um, that died as a result, at the hands of the father as a result of abuse, this is where um, families, communities, and the society that we live in plays a role. So when a child is a child in need of, of protective services, um, this is, for instance, a child who's being neglected or a child who's being subjected to sexual or physical violence, then um, such a child, um, the needs of such a child must be reported to the Ministry of Gender, to either a social worker or to the police. Meanwhile, today on one visited the Dolam Children's Home situated in Testament Street, Katatura, that provides shelter to orphans and vulnerable children. Rosa Nami says, who established the shelter in 1999 from her own house, say that she often receives children who suffer from trauma as a result of witnessing violence and sexual abuse, adding that her shelter provides these victims with counseling for their social and psychological reorientation. Children are coming here traumatized by every little thing. Um, and I can tell you a big range, children who are infected by HIV, children who are violated, children who are raped, children who are neglected to the bone, to the end place where they get malnourishment, to the place where they don't even know that they are children anymore, or children that has witnessed family violence, and children who have witnessed themselves some horrific experiences. So that kind of range of children are coming here. We refer them via the social workers to the mental care units, and also we have individual psychologists. We also make use of Childline Lifeline, so that we can at least have an opportunity for the children to go through counseling. What we do is really orientating. So then the social workers are trying to reintegrate the children back into the family, but it takes a long time to solve what has happened at the family home. Sometimes it is just a clean uh, social neglect case, or it's a case where the parents are reported, so there would be court cases and so on, so it takes time. The children are on the street of this country. They are in the dustbins. They are at the bus stops, at the robots, and they are in the riverbeds. Can we make our children, children of the community, where some, not only some, but most of us are taking care of them? Can we do that? And they are willing, the children are willing to become children of the community. Husselman also added that, according to the Child Care and Protection Act, parents who are found guilty of abusing their children can face a 10-year jail term, pay a fine of 50,000 Namibia dollars or both.